Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to be reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. So it's been recorded on the 27th, so you could say the 28th or the 27th through the 2nd or the 3rd of November. We've had two cards fall out. I think we're just going to take those. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Now, March may be prominent. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody that's born in March. This would be Aries or Pisces, or the month of March is very prominent. It's maybe something that happened in March is coming to fruition now. Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. So you are on the road to success. You are on the road to success. That's what it says. What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, we got two. I think we'll take those. The end. Okay. And then we had money going down the drain. So if you've been losing money, that's pr it's, maybe it's the end of losing money. Maybe you're going to start increasing your money. Whatever it is, we have an ending here. We do have an ending here. There may be something that's gonna cost you as well. I mean, I gotta be honest, that, that does look like money going down the drain. It looks like it's the end of money going down the drain because you're on the road to success. And I do believe Britney Spears is a Sagittarius, so that is correct. So, keep that in mind. So what do we have? What do we have for Sagittarius? We have three or two cards that flipped over. One card fell out. Oh my God. Okay, so it's your card. It's a card of evolution. It's a card of timing. It's getting something better. It's patience, right? It's harmony. It's um, waiting. You've been waiting. You've been waiting. It's time. It's time. So I feel like you're in a place where you're really accepting yourself. I feel like you're accepting that something has ended in your life. Okay, we have the end. Okay, maybe it's the end of the old you. You've evolved. You're not the same person that you were anymore. I think that you've found or you're finding a lot of self-discipline to change your circumstances. I think you're really, really, really in a good place. I think you've done a lot of profound healing within yourself. You're in a good place. You really are. It's like a renewal. It's like you're a whole, you are becoming a whole new person. And that card to me is a card of purpose. It's a card of reason. But the star card came out reversed, so that's a challenge. And the page of pentacles reversed. They came out together, so that those are going to remain the challenge together. Lack of stability, inconsistent. I think things were inconsistent. I think that you've been stuck. You've been stagnant, you know. I think you've been praying for peace. You've been praying for harmony. You've been praying for resolution in your life. I feel like you've been praying to... Uh, have that inner peace but I feel like you've been through something where obviously it's been unstable you know you may have lost faith with that star card reverse you may even you may even may even been poor health or depleted or given up hope you know but I feel like this space of lack that or self-doubt or uh, instability that you have been in maybe it's even insecurities has caused your evolution right it's built your character I feel like you were in a place where maybe you weren't ready to commit you know or you weren't ready to uh, 
You weren't ready. Now, temperance is now ready. You're ready. You're ready. I don't think you were ready. I think there was some sort of lesson that you needed to learn about commitment or, or about faith. Maybe you needed to learn about spirituality or about faith, you know, or about belief. You know what I mean? So there's always lessons to learn. And temperance is the journey, okay? It's the journey of life, you know, comes after death. So it is about the journey of life where you learn lessons along the way. I think that you've learned some serious life lessons, okay? Now you're ready. Now you're ready. Now you're ready to receive the gift that you earned, whatever it is that you earned. It's time for a renewal, okay? Eight of, eight of Wands, Reverse, Lovers behind you in the past, Judgment right now in the present, Ace of Pentacles in Reverse in the future, Sun down in your advice, Hierophant external, okay? And so you, there's a higher power that is protecting you, okay? You may be dealing with a father, you could be dealing with, um, oh geez, my mind just went blank. I don't know why, it just went totally, totally, totally blank, like, I don't know. But there's a higher power involved here. This is guidance, okay? There's there's maybe God, maybe your gut, maybe your, maybe your gut is guiding you, but the outside influence, I feel like we have a higher power. We may have a, a mentor that is guiding you. Could be a father, you could also have a Taurus. There is somebody here that is guiding you. Could be God, could be your gut. You need to have faith. Again, this is a card of faith. Faith in God. Faith in a higher power. Believe. Believe in yourself. Maybe you've received some guidance from above or from a mentor or somebody that's very spiritual that has, has assisted you very, very well. Hermit. Oh my gosh. So you are... This is like an awakening. You have... It really... We have the Sun card, the Hierophant, and the Hermit. So, and the Temperance card. But presently, in the Judgment in Reverse, that's like a lack of awakening, a lack of awareness. You may not be aware that what you have gone through has really caused some sort of, I feel like it's an ascension of some sort. I do. Major enlightenment here. The Sun, the Hierophant, and the hermit. Wow. Wow. I got, I think I got some hair standing up. Anyhow, um, let me get the last card. Ooh, moon reverse reality check. Coming out of confusion. Release of fear. Oh, Bottom of the deck, lack of awareness, unaware. I think that you are unaware. Maybe you received some poor advice from somebody or you haven't been listening to your intuition. Some of you may have been too reliant on psychics or tarot readers or mediums or, or you just weren't listening to your own self. You weren't listening to your gut. This is poor advice as well. Some of you may have received some poor advice. In the past, we have a partnership with the lover's card, but that is in the past. It's, in the, it's a union that is affecting you now. I think you've evolved from that partnership. You've evolved from it. You may be depleted. You may be ashamed. You may feel guilty for doing it, for doing whatever, or whatever happened. You may have some guilt, but I feel like... You know, there was some sort of miscommunication or misunderstanding. There's definitely guilty here. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. We have this, the Star card in reverse in the uh, Judgment in reverse. So there's guilt here. It's feeling guilty. Feeling guilty, you know. You need to have faith in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. Don't feel guilty for being yourself. It feels like sometimes, you know, you blame yourself. Stop blaming yourself. Come on. Everything happens for a reason. Now, isn't that the temperance card? Everything happens for a reason. So, anyhow, I feel like in the future, you are going to be letting something go. And I don't know if it has to do with some sort of financial security. 
because we have this ace of pentacles in the future and then we have that money going down the drain so you may be losing something that you were holding on to you may not like it it may be a job it may be a home it may be a partner or it's something that you had you may be, be, be like, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why am I losing this? Some sort of stability. I think you're losing something. I do. I mean, I hate to tell you that. I do. Um, because we have temperance, which is, which is a card of change. Then the star reverse, the page of pentacles reverse, and the ace of pentacles reverse. You're losing something. Hmm. Maybe you're losing communication or you're losing contact with somebody. Maybe that's what, by you, by you focusing on yourself and doing what's best for you, you may be losing, you may be losing somebody or losing something. You know, maybe this person didn't respect you. That's what I think. I think you're losing, I think it's a person. I think you're, because you're taking back your self you're doing what's right for you I feel like you're moving on from the bad choices in your life you know this whoever you're dealing with has made you feel guilty they've tried to make you feel guilty it feels like they've blamed it all on you I, I see a stop it's like putting the brakes on stop stop I feel like your advice is to live in your own happiness, you know, to shine, to shine. This is a new day. It's a breakthrough. It's a life-giving energy. It's a whole new vibration. It's a new life. It's a new you. It's beautiful. Okay, so I feel like right now you're in a place where you're vibrating at a very, very, very high level. This is a Jesus consciousness. It is. It is. This is, I mean, the, the hermit, the hero font, and, and the sun card. I mean, this is a extremely high vibration, okay? I feel like you have a direct connection to God. I feel like you have gained a lot of wisdom through isolation. I feel like you um, are not the same person that you used to be. I feel like you've been living in fear. I feel like you've let paranoia or worry about what other people are going to say hinder you. You've let people control you. And I think that is the end. It's the end of being used. It's the end of being taken advantage of. Stop. Stop. So I think that you're putting the brakes on. I do. Maybe you're going to just stop giving people. Stop giving. And I know it's really hard to stop giving to people but you know if you think about that temperance card that's a that is really about the lessons that need to be learned so anyway I think the overall outcome is a release of fear a re giving people a reality check telling them how it is okay I feel like there's truths that are being revealed I feel like the light, the light is coming on. It's like anything that was hidden, anything that was in the dark that was pertaining to you, where you were being blamed or you were being uh, overlooked or whatever the case is, that's not happening anymore. It's not happening. I feel like light is being shed on the truth about who you really are, okay? I feel like this week there's some sort of protection here. I do. I think it's very positive. I think you're going through some positive changes in your life. This is a very healing energy. I feel like you are highly, highly, highly awakened, highly enlightened. Um, I feel like you're feeling very alone, though. You may be feeling alone. Maybe you're, you're, you're a loner or you feel like you're a loner. You don't have anybody. Maybe, maybe people are intimidated by you. Maybe they're intimidated by your light. You're definitely shining. Maybe they're intimidated by you. So if you're feeling shunned or you're feeling alone, and you may be feeling alone right now. Maybe you're not wanting to communicate with anybody. Maybe you are experiencing a loss this week. I don't know what it is, but the Ace of Pentacles reverse could be a lost opportunity or something that you just don't want or something that is being taken away. Or it's, a, it's, a, it's a missed opportunity or a lost opportunity or it's just... 
being taken away or it's or it's going away. So what is this Ace of Pentacles reversed? Unplanned loss. There is an unplanned loss here of, of I think it has to do with money. I do think it has to do with money. And you may be like, why is this happening? Why is this happening? I don't have any money. I need the money. I need the money because, you know, God put us on this earth to he provide everything for us. You know, maybe we have to learn to live without. It's not about the money. Maybe we need to learn to, you know, live on what we have. I don't know where that's coming from, but it's coming out. Okay, you may be struggling financially this week, but there's a higher power here that is shining on you and going to provide you to everything that you need. So don't worry about it. Um, move on from that bad choice right now. That's the judgment in reverse. Poor judgment call, feeling guilty, ashamed, self-doubt. You need, you need to stop feeling guilty. Why? 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 What good does it do? I know that people have to have remorse and all that, but I feel like some of you may be in some poor health right now. If you were, things are going to get better. They are. You're, there, there's healing right around the corner. If you've been feeling sick or you've been feeling down or uh, depressed and depleted, and the things are about to get better. Two of Swords reverse. Something's about to be exposed. Some sort of light. I put, okay, it goes the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Swords reversed, and the Hermit. So there's an unplanned, I feel like explode, uh, expo explodes, exposure, exposure. Two of Swords reverse. Something that has been hidden because when we have the Hermit and we have the Moon reversed, something that has been hidden is going to be exposed. It's unplanned. May have something to do with a father. I don't know. It could even be a... It's an older man. It definitely has to do with an older man. A father or a fa father figure. I was going to say grandfather. There's something that is happening. Two of swords reverse. That's exposure. Unplanned loss. Opening up. Seeing the light. Seeing the light. Light is being shed on the truth. Coming out of denial, opening up, opening up. Somebody's going to be opening up. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. This is a professional. Something is hidden. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces or with the Moon or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Virgo. We have Taurus. We have Leo. Aquarius, Sagittarius, Gemini, Scorpio, but you're going to be receiving some information. It has to do with a loss, unfortunately. The Queen of Swords is giving the information. It's a fact. It's the truth. She's going to be giving you some information. She's going to be saying something. Um, she's going to be revealing something. So we have somebody here. It is a woman that is going to be revealing something. She's going to be exposing something about a, a man. This is about a man. It's about a, ma a man. Masculine energy, I believe. I don't know. I feel like we have a Pisces here. Pisces, Cancer, maybe. Something is, some, some, something is, somebody, we have somebody here that has been uh, keeping something hidden. Or they've been keeping it to themselves. It's about to be revealed. There's been some sort of indecision. But this is I feel like we have some decision that is now being made after there's been some some sort of indecision. It's like this is this is seeing it, seeing it very clearly. Clarity, there's been some sort of darkness. Everything is being seen very, very clearly. Ten of Swords reversed. Ten of Swords reversed right next to the Hierophant. May or may not survive. This is chronic health problems. Something coming back from the dead or a near-death experience. This could, this could even be, you know, an end of a situation. Ten of 
Ten of Swords Reverse. This is uh, chronic, chronic problems. We have somebody here that has some chronic problems. They, they're suffering. Emperor, Emperor. I don't know if this is, it has to do with a father figure. It's interesting that I mentioned Britney Spears because it was bet with her father. This is weird. I see father because we have Hierophant, Ten of Swords Reverse, and the Emperor. That's father. And then, and then we have the Hermit as well. So, I don't know. This is a father figure. There's something to do with a father figure here. Could be a loss of a father figure. Or, or grandfather or somebody that was like a father. Could even have to do... I mean, it's masculine. It is a masculine energy. Chronic health problems. And then we have light. We have light with the sun card. We have bliss. Um, a new day, a new beginning, the birth of a new life. Guided. There's somebody here that is guided. They're guided. They're guided. They're taking charge. We have somebody here that's about to take charge. They're about to. This is a decision. We have, we have a decision that is being made. This is the end of suffering. It is the end of suffering. Maybe even a judge. We may even have a judge here. Somebody is making a decision. It's going to, whatever this decision is, you know, I feel like it's going to make you happy. I do. I do. I think it's going to make you really, 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 really happy. I feel like there's there's some sort of freedom here as well. Sorry, my eye is itching. With the Ten of Swords reversed and the Sun card, those are both cards of freedom. Freedom. Freedom from somebody's control. You're being freed. And this could even be a stepfather. You're being freed. You're being freed from somebody's control. This is letting go. Letting go. It's time to relax. It is time to relax, letting go. I think you are going to be letting go of something. You definitely are. Or your father or your stepfather or whoever this masculine is, is, is letting go. A definite decision is being made. There's something that is being exposed. Somebody has been thinking. I think that you've been hoping and, you know, maybe you've been afraid that you wouldn't be accepted or you've, you've been afraid of being blamed or you've been afraid of I don't know what there's definitely some paranoia here you've been afraid of I feel like it's not being accepted or I don't know I think that you can relax I think that you can breathe I think that the worst is over okay I do I just feel like the worst is over I think you're coming out of a dark period the moon is reversed and then we have it's mirroring okay the moon is mirroring the sun so you are, you're coming out of a dark period. You're, you're coming out of the darkness into the light. The two of swords is the, that meaning as well. So this is from darkness to light. And then we have the hermit, which is light. So the dark night of the soul period that you have been in is over. Whatever loss that you are experiencing now, which I think that you probably are in the very near future, um, is divinely guided and I'm sorry to say that okay it is divinely guided because of God we got this higher power here um, because of the higher power okay so I think that we have somebody here that is going to be taking charge I feel like you are headed towards you know a new life with that with that Sun card that is a new life I feel like you've been isolated I feel like you have been blocked I feel like you've been blocked we have blocked twice you've been blocked from being able to be yourself but there's karma here okay that that judgment card reversed is karma and it ain't good it's reversed so I feel like there's somebody that you that blocked you in some way or did you wrong that made a poor judgment call that is receiving some sort of karma there is karma right there absolutely it ain't good okay because a decision is being made a 
light is being shed. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is losing money. They're going to be losing money. And I feel like, I, I mean, I, I think it's crazy, but I feel like their loss is your gain. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, you know, I just feel like it's, it's your gain. I feel like there is a woman here that is also involved. I feel like she's been blocking. She's been lying with the two of swords reversed. She's been in the moon. There's been lies. This, this woman has been lying. She's been telling lies. She's been getting away with it. I feel like it's, uh, it's either a Pisces, Cancer, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is... Um, She's been, she's been lying about something and it's about to be exposed. The truth is about to be exposed, whoever this woman is. Everything gets seen. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, act now, think later. Action, action. It's action time. It is action time. unplanned loss things are gonna happen fast something is about to be exposed we have somebody here that is about to do something spontaneous impulsive it could be a sudden departure I definitely see a vision it's like getting a vision taking action opening up telling the truth, coming out of the darkness. Seizing a new opportunity, four of cups reversed. That's letting go of reg regrets. It is making a decision. Uh, there was an opportunity that was missed that is now being taken. And maybe that's where, and it's, it's interesting because it's connected now to that Ace of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Wands, Four of Cups reversed. So there was a lost opportunity somebody, or somebody missed an opportunity or they missed the truth. Maybe they misjudged something. Now they see the truth. And action is going to be taken that's what's happening. That is what happened. And then the Four of Cups is seizing a new opportunity, seizing, taking the opportunity. It is looking forward now, moving fast in a new direction. So I feel like you, because the Ace, the Knight of Wands is moving fast in a new direction. I feel like somebody's, maybe it's you, is about to do something bold. You're about to do something brave. Maybe you are moving towards a new situation suddenly where there is, it's exciting. This is an exciting new path. Maybe you've been blocking yourself because you felt guilty or you didn't feel good enough or you had a lot of self-doubt. This is a new perspective, releasing fear, moving quickly towards a new opportunity that could make you extremely happy. That's what we got here. Things changing fast, getting something better than what you had. Whether this is a new living opportunity or a new relationship, you are about to be given an opportunity. You may have been overlooked in the past. Now, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Good luck.